cookies inside. <laughs> Mr. Busby. Mr. Brady. And the Berkey book. Hey, donkey. Hey, puppies, you want to go outside? Come on, Brady. Oh, hello. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I guess he tried to get out. Yeah. Come on! Hey, go play! Go play! Uh, here. You gotta go potty. You're in charge of this. Boys! Uh oh. First we're gonna have coffee and the puppies are going to eat breakfast. Hi. Hi. Oh, okay. And there they go. Y'all are weird, stop it. over here. Yeah, just hanging out with the boys. Yeah. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Hi. Are you getting chest scratches? They're using you. Yeah. I feel used. Like you just... <laughs> ah! Open your mouth. It's okay. Hey. Oh gosh. Open. See? See? Good We're okay. Boy. Good boy. We're okay. You just get a little too excited. Go. So about to go to the gym. I wish you guys could come with us. That'd be awesome. Puppy gym. Matt and I are going to go lift and then I don't know what we're going to get into after that. Maybe we'll take these guys to the river. Before it rains, yeah. It's supposed to rain. It's supposed to rain. Every weekend, Blair. We can't have dry weekends. Seriously, every single weekend. Every, every single one. Every single one. Yeah, every one. You wanna go outside? You wanna go play before it rains? Oh, that was stinky. <laughs> Here. Everybody get out. Come on, Brady. Come on, puppies. Come on. Come on, guys. It's done. Overall, I feel pretty good about my powerlifting program. Squats, I'm still, and I was frustrated because I can't, I don't feel like I can go low enough as far as powerlifting depth goes. It's a whole other 
struggle in itself. I did hit 285 on my deadlifts, which is more than I ever thought I could do, so that's positive. But right now we're gonna be picking up some pizza, and then we're gonna sit and chat with you guys a bit more about life, the RV life, money, um, and whatever else we feel like talking about. Guys, we brought pizza! We brought pizza! Yeah, we brought pizza. Hi! 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 Oh my gosh, he's just jumping. Hi! 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 Oh my goodness. Okay, y'all ready? Oh my gosh, Brady! 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 Okay, go! No. Woo! <laughs> Jumping into a pool. Madness. I can hear him like shuffling around and jumping around in there. It's just crazy. Oh my, what are you doing, kitty? Get out of there. Get out of there. So this pizza is called the Garden of Eden. It's just all of the vegetables. This place in St. Marcus is called Pie Society and it's quite delicious. This is a medium. medium. That's crazy, but their crust, oh my goodness, that's so good. So we're gonna get to eating and watch Game of Thrones. Well, today's been kind of boring. We had some plans and then ended up coming back and watching Game of Thrones and just eating and not doing anything. Of course, in our plans, we were wanting to go to the river or Austin or something. But we kept hearing about rain, which hasn't happened. Um, it's supposed to rain soon, so we've been going around and uh, making sure everything is out of the way. Got some boxes sitting out, and then I took down our hammocks. Just making sure that nothing gets like super rained on, but other than that, we're just, you know, just chilling. Not really doing anything. Hey, yeah, we have this guy. We got this guy. Have your face. You can't have it back. You can't have it back. What is going on? Ready? Hey. See if I can break her trance. So he's gonna run out. Here she goes. Oh, burgundy. Oh my gosh. Oh, there she goes. Off to defend the land. She's fearless. <laughs> Go plant my flowers. And let's wait, wait, wait. Oh no! Wait. Here, hold this. What? Here, hold this. Nice in the paper. Excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. Ah! That's lightning. I just, I, there's no soil. <laughs> Do you want like a spoon or something? Oh, I don't have enough water. It's supposed to be under the soil. No you don't have to water it, Blair. It's about to rain. Blair, no, it's you didn't fun. even, you didn't even <laughs> bury it. Oh, I'll go do it. I, yeah, I got it. You didn't do a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that maybe the rain would press them down. <laughs> Not when they're like sitting on top of all the grass, not even touching the dirt. I was hoping for miracle flowers. <laughs> you did good. Well, hopefully they'll they'll grow into something. Yeah. It's quite stormy out there. And now we can't really see out there. Yeah, it's very very stormy. I'm gonna put these down. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad. All right, so we did here, we upgraded our, well, okay, I'll say we, we, we did, did it. So we upgraded our, I guess, system right here a little bit. Uh, this is what it came with right here. Uh, but the thing is, it doesn't really do a lot for us. Like, it's neat because it has multiple speakers that tend to seem like they want to blow out all the time. Uh, but that's fine. <laughs> and we still have, like, you know, our widescreen, like, 40 
All right, I'm really bad with math. It's probably like a 20 inch screen TV. Tiny. Is it that big? But either way, uh, what I did is I attached a new unit to it, being our Xbox One. This allows us to play Blu-ray, play games, I guess, if we really want to. Games. Back to you. Hi. Uh, but to do this, I had to... So I had to break this panel out. There's uh, a screw, two screws on the back side, one on the top. And then right here, you have to have a Robinson screwdriver. Square holes. I have like one of these guys. Uh, there's a few uh, things on there that you can try to use to basically get that loose. But once that's all done, you can actually break open that panel and then the electrical is right back behind here. Is everything for these two components plus a few other things. I actually found, I thought I was going to have to drill a hole. If you see back here, there's a little hole. I was able to pass all the wires through there, all through this paneling, down here, and then I kind of rigged a little hole down there, passed everything through, and then command stripped the uh, power. So, pretty simple. Pretty simple. And we have an Xbox now. You yeah. can't go on talking, why are you showing me? Because. I might vacuum in a second if you guys want to watch that. This is an exciting video. <laughs> Look at this. We're going to climb today. We're going to climb. Alright, I'm going to clean. Yourself? No. No? Good. <laughs> you want to talk about this? Have you read that yet? I've read the first five pages of it and I feel like an expert. <laughs> the Idiot's Guide to RVing. <laughs> yeah. What I wanted to talk about, which is probably... It's probably not good. It's probably way too early. By probably, I mean it's definitely way too early to talk about it. Things that you want. Like after experiencing one thing, you always want something else. Uh, that's kind of what I'm getting from this book because we have a 25 foot travel trailer. I'm already thinking about like, you know, what if I get a fifth wheel? What if I upgrade the truck? Hang I want one of these. <laughs> oh, is that a. No, I want the. Um, class A. The ones that we had originally looked at. So, a Class C would be really neat. A uh, Class C, um, like self propelled, like a RV. So. Uh, the Class A, that's a bit much. There's, yeah. There's some, there's some cool ones out there that are smaller, but again, you still have to get that other license. There's a whole mess, a whole slew of things that we need to figure out from there. This is where I want to go. I, like, I already have an idea of, like, I kind of want a little bit longer of a trailer. I think I can handle it. I wish I had. I've driven this one twice. I've driven this one twice. Well, three times, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Oh, kind yeah. Of. Okay, maybe three or four times. But have, we haven't had any troubles, really. No, but we haven't really done we much. We haven't gotten into any kind it. of trouble with it. So, yeah, we haven't no. done much. <laughs> I've maneuvered it, you know, it's like I know I can handle it. So, why not throw something even so bigger you, and harder? What would you change? I think I just want to. We didn't do a lot of research going into this one. Yeah, I went to an RV show and we're like, let's do that. Let's get that one. I want, <laughs> I want that we one. I wanted all of them. And then. <laughs> What, what that one really was, was our first idea of a Class C, you know, all-in-one, like a Winnebago. It's like, you still have a Class C license, but it's self-propelled. But then, one guy, all at the very end, was like, have you thought about a travel trailer? And so, we got a travel trailer. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, I like that yeah. one. Let's well, go with that one. I like the idea of not spending as much, because we didn't know what to expect with the lifestyle. So, right. had we spent three or four times as much as we did on this one, We'd be in debt for that much longer. Who and who knows? knows? Yeah. And there's more components that break down on the thing. I'm sure there's insurance for it. What I would like to do is I'd like to go up to like a 50 volt, like something that, that has more to it, really. Something that would be more like a home. Because like we run the microwave, the AC, the fridge, and a, a TV at once, and you hear like these like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a lull in, in anything that we're using. So we're kind of stretching our limits there. It's not bad. Like it's not going to... I, I'm it doesn't bother me yeah. yet. What and I'm getting from you is that you don't like this. No, uh, it's... <laughs> I see things that I'd want to change. Th things and you're that, already looking to improve. Right. I mean, and that's just how it goes. Especially if you read books like this. Like, you're like, oh, that's cool. So there's just little things like that. There's so many other options and we just don't know what they are. And, uh, I don't know, it's just kind of cool to think about. But again, we haven't taken a big trip with this one yet, so... Yeah. <laughs> first things first, we're going to take a big trip with this <laughs> I'm glad that we've done the trailer because it's not as big of an initial cost, but I still like the idea of having everything in one place. As far as like driving, I think I'd feel more safe driving like the Winnebago type thing. Cause you're all, I don't know. I just, I feel you're like doing the trailer. 
Like you feel like it's it, you're just gonna lose the trailer. Every, yeah, everything's gonna be yeah. gone. Yeah, pretty it's much. Just, it flies <laughs> away. And then with with the actual motor home, I guess is what you would call it. You don't have to worry about hooking up or anything like that. Or if we get into a uh, sticky situation, say we're boondocking somewhere and and something gets kind of scary, we it's a lot less to have to just drive away versus the trailer. We have to make sure everything's hooked up and like get out of the trailer itself yeah. and then get into our truck and then. Well, and it's kind of cool because you can actually take friends and family or, uh, you know, whatever it may be with you uh, in Winnebago. And you can just turn around and say, hey, how are y'all doing? You know, <laughs> instead of, like, everyone crammed inside of a truck or something because you know they're not doing good. Can but, you use the bathroom while you're driving in a motorhome? I don't know. I don't think you're I don't think you can. I think you're supposed to pull over first, you know, safely. Yeah. Uh, because you're supposed to Do, Have any of you guys done that? I'm sure that people have done it. I'm almost guaranteeing that it's illegal because <laughs> even in a, like, a traveling... You know, like a motorized home, you have to still be seat belted. But to, does everybody follow that? Basically, asking people. Yeah. To... <laughs> Do you guys follow those rules? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, no judgment here. No judgment. I think that's going to conclude the vlog. I know it's like a little bit of a random one, but it's more of just a day in our life. Like, not really doing much, but doing doing what we normally do you know of course it's a weekend so on the weekdays we just work but weekend it's just kind of whatever happens chill. and this is what mm -hmm. what it was it, this is kind of a day in the life of it so, <laughs> so feel free to comment and let yeah. us know if there's uh, anything that you suggest to us maybe even for the next trailer uh, I always like to think about it not necessarily thinking about getting it because that means we'd have to get a new truck yes yeah, no it's a not new gonna trailer happen anytime soon. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot to go it's through yeah, so. Just making mental notes for um, the future because I know that we're going to keep up with this lifestyle. So, yeah. No, Always got to look to improve. Definitely a, I don't know, I love this lifestyle already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, make sure and hit that thumbs up and leave us a comment below if you did enjoy more of the like just laid back type of, of video. If you have any questions for us, leave them in the comments below and we will see you in Wednesday's video. In, in it? In, in it. the next video. In it and around it. I need it. more coffee. I can't think. I'll make you some espresso. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Have fun out there. Bye!